Hello, welcome back everyone. This is Cast Mirage. Welcome back to this Tales of Arise Beyond the, the, the Down DLC expansion playthrough. Alright, let's continue. I think last stream we finished the uh, the boost quest thing on everyone. So everyone should have their intense uh, boost attacks. So, yeah, so we should be done on... We should almost be done on the on the side quests, right? This is the main quest. We have another white wedding quest, and uh, yeah, we have like two more quests right now. Where is this? The office collection room. Okay, I I know where that is. So let's finish the side quest, and then maybe we'll get through most of the story. I think we're like. Counting this one, we should be one or two more stream away from finishing this game, the, uh, not game, the expansion. Which I gotta say, this expansion is, um, is pretty big. For like a DLC thing. Why don't we give, like, Law this armor? This armor looks pretty cool too. Uh, where is the the quest? Oh, you. All right, cool. Uh, say, get a little bit of request for you. Will you hear me out? Sure. What's up? Uh, as I mentioned before, those days of just loneliness, keeping an eye on each other, as the last lasting impact. The biggest issue is how people are treated. Of uh, the former informants. They're still taking uh, flack of their past actions. Yeah, the anger of those who lost their families because of the informants won't go away in a near year. Silver Sword of Forbidden Personal Vendettas, but not everyone's satisfied with that. A few extreme informant hunters have been attacking former informants. Uh, that's uh, nothing more than pointless violence. Yeah, we can just let this slide, but it's not like the people who know, uh, voice their distrust in, out in the open. <laughs> Sure, that was uh, the norm a few years ago, hiding your true feelings from the world. Honestly, I find it easier to, uh, to talk to outsiders like yourself. I'm sure others feel the same similarly. I see, so that's what you want to ask of us. It is, to uh, talk to the villagers and hear uh, their feelings on the former informants. I like to hear everyone's true feelings of, from, uh, from former informants to those who, uh, who detest them. Accept the request. Got it, we'll ask around. Thanks for a huge help, a local like myself couldn't navigate these waters. We'll take care of the bread gum. Throwing a frozen heart. Alright. Aren't you the guy we uh, talked to last time? Uh, what do I think of the informant hunters? Well, hell, as the uh, knowing I, I used to be an informant, right? You're just here to get your uh, jollies harassing me, aren't you? Well, I had enough of this crap. What way? You used to be an informant? We had no clue. We're here to be uh, to be uh, on the behalf of the Silver Sword to gather opinions on your informants uh, from the populace. We don't mean you know uh, any harm. Uh, some things may not be easy to talk about, but I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, oh, really? The thing is, someone in town told everyone that I used to be an informant. As a result, and I had to endure all sorts of abuse. I thought you came uh, uh, for your pot of flesh. Sorry. To be honest, I don't blame them for coming for revenge, even with all that abuse. After everything I've done, I mean, no um, a position to complain. I've uh, exploited others with my own gang, but then I got informed not by another guy and ended up being the force of the labor myself, and what goes around comes around, I guess. Is there something you want, like, do you want Silver Sword to protect you? Nah, I don't want anything like that. Though, if you really want to know, maybe an odd answer, but I want to atone for my mistakes, uh, for the uh, sake of those I uh, are wronged. Rather than hide from the informant hunters, I'd rather make amends uh, for, uh, in front of everyone. It's probably too late for that though, so just leave it here quietly. Is that so? Thanks for telling us. 
All right, well, that's, um, all right. Oh, we got a lot of people to talk to, huh? Informant hunting, huh? Difficult to say in pot, but, but I should I think it should be allowed. So you are you are okay, I thought we were gonna talk to a bunch of uh, informants. Alright. Can I ask why you think that? Both of my parents were taken uh, after someone informed on them. I haven't seen them since. I mourned uh, them ever since that day, and if it means uh, freeing myself from that pain, even I I see. My sister seemed to think differently than I do. You know, sis, I hate informants too, I just don't see any good coming from taking revenge on them. But it's the Reddits who were really bad, why should the Dennis hate each other after all this time? You have forgiven them then? No, I haven't, how could I? It's just, violence wouldn't solve anything. You're right, it might pr uh, provide some temporary relief, but it won't make your sadness go away. It hurts to, to tell, uh, it's hard to hold on to anger so long without any outlet for it, is uh, why they want to resort to violence. Yeah, maybe I feel better if I talk to people around town with just similar experiences, but that's not happening. Talk to other people, nice. huh? Thanks for sharing your honest opinion, both of you. It's helpful, no problem. Alright, we're going to the yin. The informant hunters. I don't think that's right. Would you tell me why you feel that way? Back then, everyone was uh, desperate to survive. There's no point in condemning someone for making a mistake. I was also informed on by someone that put into the forced labor, but I have no hard feeling towards them. Even after what we've been through? Yeah, so maybe it's only because I was able to come back alive. It's sad to see people hunt, hating each other again uh, after uh, barely surviving, you know? I see, yeah, I feel the same. Thanks for telling me. Central Plaza. Alright. Do you, um, do you have to say that every time, Law? Not that Law Ring, Law? Because we literally just teleported. What the hell do you want? I just want to ch uh, have a little chat, no need to be so scared. <sighs> it's just been a while since anyone tried to talk to me. Everyone assumes I was an informant. What? So you're mistaken for a former informant? Yeah, lots of people are running me or taking me away, but what am I doing? That sounds tough. Condemning for uh, something you didn't even do. Exactly! Why do I still have to live in fear even after the Renders left? People are wielding so-called justice with um, this uh, informant hunting. But, uh, what, what if an innocent people like me ends up getting attacked? Have you tried making your case with everyone? Of course I did! But who believe the words of a former informant, huh? I guess. If only you could get them to understand what really happened. There must be some way. No, I can't think of... Hold on, I know. If you meet the others, please make a case for my innocence. Even though the Renan subjugation has ended?
Let's see. Alright, they all have their own sauce, huh? Except for letting me know, now I have no idea what everyone's thinking at the very least. But we still don't know what to do. True, each side has their own thoughts, and I think it'll take time to solve this problem. Sure. It's probably better if they can at least talk to each other more openly, which are um, us in between. I feel like it's getting more um, complicated because everyone's holding, uh, holding it near with their hearts closed off. And just as you say, the long run subjugation left deep scars in these people. I wonder if there's a way to open the hearts of people like that. Brian, you've been working hard on seriously tough issues, huh? I suppose so. The only thing I took fo uh, look forward to these days is a drink when I get home. A drink? That's it. Couldn't can, can we use that? Do you think of something? Yeah. Like alcohol? Do you get, get everyone drunk? Yeah, when we get all of these dots in town together for a round of drinks. Um, I, obviously, I, I don't drink, but the dots seem to take more, uh, more to talk more when they're, uh, when they're drinking, right? Uh, that goes to the show uh, they let their guards down. Maybe they'll be able to say what's on their mind. It's gonna end up like you're, you're a huge bro. And you're right. Booze is gonna be an easy way to loosen someone's lips. Yep, yeah, that might just work. Lots of folks in uh, Sicily are enjoying a good drink. Keep, uh, keep the cold at bay. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. That means we need uh, Kaligan, a lot of it. We can get the ingredients uh, from Kaligan from Zugos, right? Let's get gather some. Gave in. Oh, already have it. I think we already got we're looking for. See, you sure are willing to get the, uh, get those to me? Sure, you need it, don't you? Thanks for that. That's enough to make plenty of the uh, Kaligan. I have no idea what that is. If I feel uh, bad for always being helped by you guys, it'll take a while to make this much. But when uh, we're done, let's have a big party and host by the Silver Swords. Hopefully people um, people from all over town will come. Oh, I'm sure they'll come, we'll lower by the booze and the important uh, that was come next. It's not something that can be solved by, uh, by the power of booze alone, is it? But I'm sure it'll be good for a stack of people in the city to talk frankly. Yes, I believe so. Okay, they're gonna like end up being a huge brawl. people's frozen hearts. I'd like us to join them on the day of the banquet as well. If everyone's drinking, won't fights break out? Yeah. So what if they do? No way to get closer to someone than having a good rumble, I say. You might be right. Maybe what Cislodia needs right now is a way to release some pent-up pressure. Alright. Oh, there's like two requests here. Okay. I think I'll do the regular one first. So, Alvin, how's your pursuit of wedding knowledge progressing? With everyone's help, I've been able to look into several things I was curious about. Happy to hear it. I'm still clueless when it comes to marriage in general. I'm still in the dark on what married life is like after the ceremony is over. Hmm. It does seem as though that would be a separate set of knowledge. You'd need a new home, furnishings for it, things of that ilk. Home? You need a house if you get married? It's not a requirement, but generally speaking. It even came up in the conversation amongst the ladies that sparked your quest for knowledge. Xion said she wanted a warm home to live in, remember? It's completely normal to think of such things. It is? So I've heard. Then the next thing I research will be where to live after getting married. I want to know everything that's needed. Very well. You know, I once heard someone say, marriage is not the destination, but a new departure. I believe those were Droshin's words of wisdom. Really? Does that mean Droshin's married? He is indeed. Seeing as he has experience, you may wish to seek his counsel. All right, let's go. All right, she answers me now. That now that I think about it, life after marriage is obviously more important than the wedding itself. The wedding is a single day, but your life together after that goes on for years and years. True. 
It is certainly a topic worthy of careful consideration. I thought there was another quest in here. Was there not? Alright, that was weird. We've reached our destination. What's up? Oh, hello. Did you need something? There's something I want to talk to you about. I heard you're a married man, so... You once spoke to me about the necessities in everyday life after marriage. Do you recall? We've come to you because Alfin would like to hear what you have to say. Can you... Is that Oops. so? Oops. Now that's a serious consultation. If you're going to get married, I think you first need to decide where you want to live. No, I'm I'm not getting married in the immediate future. I'm just curious and doing some research. I see. Even so, I think you'll get an idea of what you need if you picture what you want for yourself. Are there any cities you thought would be nice to live in? <clears throat> no, not really. i would never given it any thought. You know, Shion once said that she enjoys the mood of gazing upon the snow of Cislodia, and that doing so calms her. Other than that, she also mentioned that she finds the weather pleasant in Ganeth Haros. She did? Maybe that means she wants to live in Cislodia or Ganeth Haros someday. Uh, I was just reacting to Shion's comments, don't dumb. Of course, we would never. If you don't have any strong preference on where you want to live, maybe you should spend some time traveling around. Cast aside your preconceived notions and look around with an objective eye. You'll likely discover some conditions you can't compromise on. Thanks. I think it's worth a try. Should we start by visiting Cislodia then? I can see what Bregan has to say too. By all means, I think it's smart to learn about marriage and all it requires well in advance. Married life is like a long journey. If you don't care for and support each other, it won't last. The most important thing is to discuss and understand each other. Two people living together... We've strayed quite far from the matter at hand. And it seems this is going to take a while yet. Not as long as the speech you gave at Kagari and Notio's wedding. Ah, my apologies. Are you in a hurry? I still have more to share. Thanks for your help, Drasha. You can tell me the rest the next time I see you. Homes in Cislodia are constructed to withstand the snow. That's one of their good points. I never thought much about how a house is designed. This is all so new to me. We need to start keeping an eye out for this kind of stuff. Wandering aimlessly won't cut it. Alright, back to Cecilodia. Where is it? Is that the central problem? Alright. Looks like we made it here in one piece. 